What a great way to start out a Pontiac Buick Oldsmobile Cadillac show. That old pace car. And pulling into the 69. Oh, come on, you. There we go. This is a fun event. I'm going to swing it around here. There we go. Let's take a look. Uh, since we started with the Oldsmobiles, let's start with the Olds. This is interesting, the Aurora. Sorry about that. This is I'm getting used to the uh, stabilizer. Since 1897, final 500, 2004, what a shame, what a shame. This was their swan song. Help kill it was that badge engineering of GM, in my humble opinion. That was a uh, major factor. Uh, all sorts of blunders along the way uh, of Smith, who was running the uh, GM at the time. And I swear, I really think that he was trying to put the company out of business. <laughs> Worse yet, it will be on the internet. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good point. <laughs> sounds, sounds good. And of course, we go into the old, uh, tornado. This was just a groundbreaking <laughs> design. Nice. Of course, front wheel drive. Now check the transmission. See the way how they did that with the uh, chain drive. Sounds crude that way. Over to the diff sitting on the side. You can see the uh, governor and such over there. But what a beautiful design. Just beautiful. I want to do is capture the interior also, because this has the uh, drum. This is the 66. You can see the uh, drum speedometer in there. There she is. Pretty cool. Cutlass was like one of Oldsmobile's biggest success stories since the curve dash. That's the Aurora, one of the last of the Oldsmobiles. This was actually a beautiful car, and they just played down the Oldsmobile, which was interesting, because you can see no markings, except for that crazy Aurora and look sharp. There's the only Oldsmobile reference. Again, we've got the Cutlass drop top. F85 wagon. I walk around everything here. Manual transmission. Check it out. Oh, look at that Chevy. Probably the only Chevy here. We'll allow them in because that's a cool Chevy. I wanted to catch this. Keep going. Isn't that beautiful? 
Manual transmission in a wagon. I love it. There's good cruising. 442 drop top. That's the 67442. Same owner since 1973. <laughs> nice wearing Alabama plates. Jet fire. And marketing was everything, of course. There's your cutlass. Going back to another Aurora. Again, they were really pretty cool. Again, this is Pam from Northeast Wheels Events.com. 2021 Pontiac Oldsmobile Buick Shell and Cadillac. Pardon me. Checking some more stuff out, 72. That was one of the biggest years of Cutlass. I mean, they were selling 100,000, if memory serves me correct. That's a nice, is that about 54? Let's see how close I am. 51. Way off. I love the uh, insignia. And they had the one piece windshield already. Check out the uh, uh, three piece back glass. That's cool. Look at this original interior. All that chrome over there. As I said, it's got that three piece back glass. Of course, that's the Rocket 88. 442s. Nice with the Hearst wheels. Hearst got into a lot more than just shifters. Of course, it has a Hearst shifter. As Don Glover will tell you the history of Hearst with all of the uh, goodies that they went into. Got into an accessory company. Uh, sorry, there we go. Beautiful cutlass drop top. A few more cutlass. What's funny is that the uh, popularity is really being reflected. Nice little 442. I like that in red with white interior. A lot of customization, but nicely done. Check out that interior. I like that. I like that a lot. Taking some liberties here to modernize, but still keeping the flavor. Nice way to end it. Nothing like a throb of a V8. 